and welcome to your gold market update for the 27th of April 2022 with Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Gold Markets. Let's have a look at what's come across the news today. Of course, overnight we saw a major sell-off in the US, the Dow having its worst day since pandemic-orientated March 2020, the Nasdaq breached its year-to-date lows and the S&P 500 is testing that March low that we talked about yesterday. Really, the catalyst is global slowdown and earnings that came in mixed. But we are still 79% of earnings released to date are beating expectations. But bear in mind, this is one of the busiest weeks of the earnings season, over 160 of the S&P 500 components reporting this week. After the bell, we had disappointing results from Google and positive results from Microsoft. So that's held futures around about neutral. Obviously, we're seeing Asian markets following that weaker US lead and the likelihood is European markets are going to open markedly lower. On the FX front, we're seeing the US dollar edge higher on higher bond yields, subsequent to that slightly hawkish than expected Fed last week. We're at new 14-month highs and continue to move a little higher in Asia. Gold is holding 1900. Copper was weaker yesterday as well, but appears to be up in Asian trading this morning to have it trading around a key level. We saw oil bounce off that $100 support to move higher again to trading towards the top of the session around about 106 when we last checked in on it. And we've seen the VIX at six week highs, reflecting of course that increased uncertainty in the markets yet again. Even cryptos is not particularly a good place to be still. Uh, we saw Bitcoin drop through the 39,000 short term support. The next key levels are around about 36. It's another big US earnings day today as we've already intimated we've already had some aussie inflation data out which has been hotter than expected across the board both on year on year and month on month figures and that's moving the australian dollar higher a little at this stage later on we've got german consumer confidence which may impact on the euro a little and u.s housing data the highlights let's have a look at a couple of charts we'll pop on the aussie yen to start with you can see there the 30 minute chart uh, we saw a little pick up in the Aussie dollar initially, but now we're testing and haven't broken through this key level in the short term at around about 91.25. If we do, we could see a move up back towards 92 pretty quickly. So the next candle or two is pretty critical in this. On the ASX, things are looking very bleak, but just keep an eye on Whitehaven Co. We had a bounce off this support at around about 4.25. Really strong session today. Uh, the outperformer on the ASX up to about 460 and this is on the back of coal prices rising obviously Whitehaven coal in a good place to take advantage of that this level here at 480 we would suggest is one really worth keeping an eye on that's only around about 20 cents from where we are now and if we quickly check in on a monthly chart you'll see why this level is important if we go back to 2018 where it was last at this level so then we had it stuck just under this five dollars level so just Keep an eye on this over the next few days, as with anything that seems to be booking the trend. But really, we remain in a high risk market and hence your management of positions should reflect that. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.